August 2019 started as a Sotmo deck. I'm gonna go through this real fast. I found a way to make it consistent without getting OTK'd and we just locked the field. Two starters of Soap Modes. I run two, you can run three if you want. I'm keeping the deck at 40. Three Assault Sentinels. Helps you bring out the other the tuner to make everything go faster. Three Upset Tuner. Side Reflector. Basic card you need for one card Assault Mode. One Assault Beast. You only need one if you're opening up uh, side reflector without him going to the grave for his effect to bring him out. You just need one summon, search. So he you can send him to the graveyard to bring us home mode. Three so summoners monks. You um, this is good to chuck your magics if you have if you already use them and they're just sitting in your hand. You could just use him to search out him and go in the loop or whatever you want to do. And two. Artifact Lance here. I'm trying to get these blinged out. Spell cards one for one to bring out the tuner. Same as an emergency teleport. To keep it a 40, we run two tank um, fire formation tankies. Still falls good. Since we have Summoner's Monk, we use a Summon Zero. You can instantly, with Summoner's Monk, if it goes uninterrupted, chuck a spell, um, bring out the Assault um, Sentinel, and when this is in Graveyard, you can remove it, set Assault Mode, activate, and you can play at the same turn. Monster Reborn. Three, Return of the Dragon Lords. We prefer this over anything else that brings them back, because one starters goes to the Graveyard for your one turn assault mode, you can use Return of the Dragon's Lord, bring Stardust back. And you have Protection Engrave, since he's a level 8 tuner. This brings back a level 7 or 8 dragon. And when in Graveyard, protects them. Two extra Foolish to send your Link machine that has 4000 attack. So you could go into um, Full Boar Lord Savage Dragon's um, effect, so he has material for it. At the cost of half your life. I like it. So. Three call by the grave. So if anybody tries to ask you. Negate them and you continue with your place. And we play two mystic minds. Only purpose is this. Is you're going to try to bring it out. First turn. Even if you do full start as a solo combo. Then you play Mystic Mind or use one of the other cards to help bring out Mystic Mind. So they're going to want to even the playing field one, one for one so they can get rid of this. Otherwise, if they swarm the field, it's going to negate all their monsters, their hand, and everything. It's going to fuck up. It's going to disrupt them big time, negating everything. And this whole point of this deck is to negate, right? So even if they summon one monster, they play something, you can send a salt mold to the graveyard. It stops them from OTKing you. And then Sardis will come back, and since you have one for one, if they're good players, Mystic Mind will be destroyed, and then you could go into another Sardis play, or whatever else you want to do, and this deck does that going second. You got one Land of the Mines, they special summon a monster. You can acti um, activate the field card from deck. And Metaverse to one, so only one Metaverse, same purpose. You don't want three and any more of these is basically to stop them from OTKing you first turn. If you have the advantage already, you have the advantage. But it's to stop them from OTKing you. Uh, three starters assaults. I mean, assault will activate key card you need. You could do so much with it. And we like running three assault counters. It's a free negate anything. It's trap form, counter trap. So your starters will stay on the field, you negate anything, you have two disruptions instantly. And since it brings out starters to so more than one turn, you're good with this card. You're awesome. And then to make it a 40 card deck, Imperial Iron will negate all spell cards, even though you have a lot of um, magic cards, spell cards, whatever they are. This will negate them, but that's why you run Summon Monk. Summon Monk will chuck them to the graveyard. Even if you chuck Return of the Dragon's Lord or any of the spells to the graveyard, you will still get its graveyard effect. And Summoner's Monk is going to just bring out your continued plays. 
you have one card played, so. Extra deck. Three star dragons. I'm going to try to get a ghost rare to replace the middle one. One Barlow Savage Dragon you can make easily. And with Foolish Burial, you pay half your life. You can send the link card to the grave. I'll show you in a second. So he could, he will be at 5,000 with three counters. Hot Red. You can easily bring that out. Another combo. Uh, Red Dragon Art Fiend. Easy 8. Clear Wing. Easy 7. Black Rose. Easy 7. There's times I go summon this monk. They negate. And then I can emergency teleport. Um... Side reflector, they negate that too. Just go into a five, and if you're going second, just punch them in the face if they have nothing. If not, at least you have a viable play, or you could do so. You could do a few other things. Just in case they have a monster you can't get over, you could easily two summons monks or whatever. Then well, since it's off the ban list, I go to Emerald, recycle some of your materials, and just keep going over and over again. If you get two summons monks on the field. You could wear Witch's Apprentice, then you have two more spaces opening up, not that you need them, but just in case. Or you could get rid of the Summoner's Monk to open up two spots and then go into your, link, your Synchro play. If Cyber Reflector gets negated and he's just sitting there, just Link Rebo him. There's times you have more than five monsters. You can start usual if you want. If you want, it's this there. And then, like I said, with Foolish Burial. You will be sending this will be your target for foolish burial only infinite track fortress mega clops. Send pay half your life points, it goes to the graveyard. Then, when you bring out Savage Borlo Savage Dragon, he equips it doesn't matter if he was successfully summoned or not, he equips him so half of his attack is 2000. Would, would make him a 5000 with three negates since he's a link three. That's the only reason he's in here. And he's the only Link monster that has the highest attack. Which is another reason I chose him. A Link 3 with 4,000 attack. See? So that is our Stardust Dragon Assault Mode deck. Peace out.